Hello, everyone, and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, and yes, to the WWE Universe, welcome to the British Boy Reacts on WWE Elimination Chamber 2022 in Saudi Arabia, which just went past, and boy, oh boy, what a spectacular show it was. The ending was very dramatic. Big up to the guys who won today. And those who are new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share because sharing Ivor and Spice is caring. Those who are not new to the show, not new to the channel. Yes, your boy Ivor and Spice is a big wrestling fan. And let me give you something different despite Manchester United, besides the team Manchester United. Yes, guys, let's get straight into it because I'm here to talk about the elimination chamber that just went past. I'm going to go through match by match. And then let's start it off with the first round the first match which i thought should have been a main event again back to back roman reign pay-per-view matches he starts the, the 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 event off he started the event off for royal rumble and he starts the event off for elimination chamber and the one for royal rumble was in spectacular fashion this match against of course the mighty goldberg yes goldberg which i have to say i saw it coming we all knew what the prediction was how the, the fight itself, how the match itself will end. Because, of course, you have Brock Lesnar who challenged Roman Reigns for the headline for WrestleMania. And you know the storyline, how it's going to end. They want that main storyline for, for WrestleMania. And rightly so, that match against Goldberg, which wasn't that long, for too surprising, only lost about 20 minutes, the first 20 minutes of the show. That match itself was an interesting fight. I, I saw it only going one way. My guy, the guy hits hard. We the ones, baby. We the ones. And yes, Saudi Arabia acknowledged Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns has been acknowledged by Goldberg because that fight didn't go to the distance, but I expected it to be short because I, for some reason, Goldberg is, is probably being paid by the minute. And being paid by the minute on his rate charges it can only last 20 minutes because, of course, the WWE can't afford to just pay him too much. Goldberg had a good fight. He lasted a while, but Roman Reigns showed exactly what he's made of, and he is the greatest universal champion that's been around for a very long time, over 500 days of being champion, and it can only build up to WrestleMania, so he can extend that run. And I know the WWE love Roman Reigns, and they want to throw Roman Reigns, and I'm a big fan of Roman Reigns because I like to hit hard and go or go home, you know. And and I like to hit hard and hit often as much as I can. But Roman Reigns, what a beautiful victory it was! A rear neck choke to Goldberg after Goldberg giving him the sp spears twice, and I've tried to give him the jackhammer with Roman Reigns countering that and giving him on the rear neck choke. And as much as Goldberg tried his best to get out of that situation, that choke. Roman Reigns finally got him down to the floor and extended and hold, held that choke all the way till Goldberg turned black and purple for him to pass out and the way to win it in spectacular fashion, which meant that Roman Reigns still is universal champion. Moving on to the next fight, which was Bianca Belair, who won her Elimination Chambers match. I, 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 I wasn't too keen on this one because I... I thought to myself, yeah, I'm more interested in, in the later Elimination Chamber because there weren't that much big hitters except for Bianca Bella, Rhea Ripley. I could say, um, I could probably say, actually, I can't say anything more. I was going to say the, the last person that came in, um, the fight, I, I kind of forgot her name. But yes, Bianca Bella ending the fight with, with, with beating... Um, sorry, what's her name? What is her name? Rhea Ripley. Ripley herself um, getting knocked out to the end towards when when Bianca Belair herself had to fight that crazy delusional woman. I kind of forgot her name. You know, Jesus, Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss done really well to get all the way to the end of the last two. Big up to Alexa Bliss because she's come back from a break since September. So I was quite impressed with her. But uh, uh, Bianca Belair, deservedly so, won the match, won the Elimination Chamber. Big up to her. She just, she just keeps on going from strides to strides, guys, you know. She's a very, very, very good role model for, of course, black 
aspiring athletes and all women across the world that aspire to be athletes. I've never seen such raw athleticism talent since um, Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair was the only one that I saw as a woman that was just athletically great, you know, great, you know. But yes, Bianca Bella is up there. If Bianca Bella winning her match, which means that she would advance to, to the WrestleMania to fight the WWE champ, Women Champion, which, of course, you will find out later on. Another fight that went through, which was with Naomi and Ronda Rousey, who won their match as well against Charlotte Flair and Sonia Duville, a.k.a. Cruella Duville. Yes, she's such an evil person. Sonia Duville, who has been taking advantage of every situation. She's been power hungry, abusing her authority, as Cartman would say. And I know myself, if I was in the WWE and I got myself to the top, you probably would be asking, I for a spice. How did you get yourself to the top? Well, to be honest, Sonia Deville, you know, abused her authority towards me. You know, she abused her powers on me. Wink, wink, wink. Of course she would because it's Ivorian Spice and Ivorian Spice is sexy, guys. Big ups to you guys. But yes, Ronda Rousey starting off the fight with, with um, Deville, Sonia Deville, to removing her handband, showing that, of course, she wasn't injured. She could fight with both hands. She wasn't going to fight Ronda Rousey with, with one hand. Who would? I wouldn't. I wouldn't even get to bed with Ronda Rousey with one hand tied in my back. Even with cufflinks, I would not have it, you know. Handcuffs, I would not be tied down by Ronda Rousey, even though I know it's going to be sexy. I just can't trust that woman. That woman, if your hands are tied, you don't want to jump in, in bed with her or in a fight with her. She is dangerous. Yes, she is. Ronda Rousey, exactly so, did eventually beat up those guys with one arm tied to her back, which was, of course, Cruella Deville, Sonia Deville, with Charlotte Flair standing there, not even giving a toss. She didn't even give a shit. She didn't give a shit. She just stood there and watched Sonia Deville lose. Becky Lynch won her title, won her title, defending her title tremendously well, beating Lita, which I was a very good fight. Very good match. Lita gave it her all, and it was so courageous. And of course, I commended her for getting that standing ovation at the end of the fight. Becky Lynch will be fighting Bianca Bella in in WrestleMania main event for the WWE Women's Champion, Raw Women's Champion. And another fight that didn't go nowhere, which was the Usos. The Usos just beat up the Viking Raiders just before they got. Just just before they got to the entrance, just from the entrance to get to the ring, I just saw it coming. I never thought they was going to fight. I thought they wanted to just cut the show down a little bit. And they, and they always do that, the WWE. They always trim the pay-per-views as quick as those less important fights. And that's what happened. The Usos ran out from backstage out of nowhere, came, attacked the Viking Raiders, which meant that they couldn't really defend themselves for the, for the actual fight before even the fight actually started, before the ring even rang like the bell i mean before the bell even rang so that there went nowhere and of course you had your main event you had your main event where you had a men's elimination chamber where brock lesnar ended up winning and i'm so happy to see that bobby lashley unlucky who suffered a concussion thanks to of course of course the guy himself seth rowling throwing Austin Reed straight through the pod with that just impacting on, on, sorry, Bobby Lashley. And Bobby Lashley getting knocked out of concussion, which meant he had to be removed. And it was a great elimination chamber match with Brock Lesnar when it was time for him to come up. He broke himself out the pod. He kicked the shit out of that pod and beat everybody's ass. Beat their ass down, one, two, get it, one, two, three, knocking one man out one by one until he got to Austin Reed. Austin Reed was begging to the gods, praying like, oh my God, I'm about to get my ass whooped. And he tried his best. Well, he got F5 from the top of one of those puzzle of the chambers and then it ended up one, two, three, which meant that it will be champion versus champion because Brock Lesnar is now the WWE champion at Raw champion versus champion for Wrestlemania and I'm so damn looking forward to it guys and this has been your WWE Elimination Chambers reaction from your boy British boy remember guys to subscribe the WWE Universe subscribe because I will be doing pay-per-view reactions every pay-per-view the next one Wrestlemania 
But yes, and those who support Man United, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share. The wrestling fans, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share as well. My American Holics, as well, get to subscribing, get to sharing, and I, I will see you next time. And as always, as I like to leave the show, remember to keep it united, and remember to keep it red united. I'm out. Peace out.